For the body weight squat, begin with your feet parallel hip width apart or a little bit wider if that's more comfortable, toes pointing forward or slightly out to the side. From here, squeeze your glutes, engage your core, draw your shoulders down and back. We'll inhale as we lower, exhale as we press up. You'll notice that with this exercise, we'll drive our hips backward first, so break at the hips first. It is not a booty pop, it's breaking at the hips, like we're hinging. Then we'll bend our knees and lower ourselves down. So inhale as you break at the hips first, knees bend. And now at the bottom of the squat, lowest step, you'll get to about parallel. If you can go a little bit lower, great if that's comfortable. If you lose form, then you won't go as low as I'm going. Whatever you get to that depth range, now we're gonna press through our heel primarily, keeping the rest of our foot on the floor. As we exhale and stand up, squeeze your glutes, re-engage again. Lower down, inhale, and exhale. Stand up from the side, it should look like this. Drive your hips back first, bend the knees soon thereafter, and press up. Now, a few mistakes that are very common one would be to have your back rounded. We really want to avoid that. So make sure that you are engaging the muscles through your shoulders between them to keep your back nice and flat. Also make sure that your knees are staying in line with your toes. Very common to see knees cave in or out. We want them aligned in the same direction as your toes. Another common theme is to see that booty pop back, that back arch excessively. So again, if we're breaking at the hips, First, the back stays flat, which is that nice natural curvature of the lower back. And then the last thing that's very common that you'll see is hinging way too far forward. So we do wanna make sure that our torso is remaining upright, not way far forward like this. So if you get to the bottom and push your weight into your heels, you should be able to feel that you're kind of pressing back and that your torso is maintaining that upright position. As a quick last note, if you cannot maintain proper form with the depth that you're going to, that's okay. Just reduce the range of motion that you've got. So maybe you'll start out right with like a half squat, quarter squat, and then as you get more comfortable, you can go deeper. If you need a little bit more support, you can hold on to something. You can hold on to TRX straps, a countertop. Just make sure that you're able to maintain that proper form. And if you'd like to, you can also modify sitting on the couch or a box or bench for more of a chair sit exercise as you're getting comfortable because we've got that chair behind us. All right, let me know if you have any questions and happy squatting.